In this video, we're going to look at some examples of addition reactions involving alkenes, which have double bonds, and alkynes, which have triple bonds. So starting with the alkenes, we'll go through a few examples. So the first is the addition of hydrogen, or H2. So what happens is one of the bonds in the double bond is going to break apart, and then the bond between the two hydrogen atoms is going to break, and each of the hydrogen atoms will add onto a carbon atom, giving us the corresponding alkane. So there's the overall reaction. The alkene plus the hydrogen gives us the alkane with only single bonds. Another example of something that can be added across a double bond are the halogens. So chlorine, bromine, and iodine. In this example, it's showing bromine. So the same thing happens as with, with hydrogen. One of the bonds breaks, the bond between the bromines breaks, and a bromine is added to each carbon. And there's our resultant product. So you want to make sure that a bromine goes to each carbon. You, don't, you won't have two bromines on the same carbon. And there's the overall reaction. The next example is the addition of hydrogen halides. So hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen iodide. Okay? And this occurs in the same manner. The double bond breaks, or one of the bonds in the double bond breaks. The hydrogen and the bromine break apart. Hydrogen gets added to one carbon. Bromine gets added to the other. And there's our final reaction. The last example for the alkenes that we're going to look at is the addition of water. So this one is just a little bit different because we have three atoms in the small molecule that we're adding. So again, that double bond is going to break. And then one of the bonds in water is going to break. And a hydrogen is going to be added to one carbon. And an OH group is going to be added to the other carbon. So there you have the final uh, reaction. And you'll notice the OH was put on the end, but you can technically put it in any position that you would like. Okay, and we formed here an alcohol, which we're going to talk about in another lesson. And then finally, if we look at additions with alkynes, so when they have triple bonds, so they're going to react in the exact same way. They're just going to react twice. So the one addition is going to happen, right? So here we're adding HCl. So we're going to add an H to one carbon and a Cl to the other. And now we're left with the double bond. And then we're going to add another HCl to break that double bond to make the single bond. And now we have a carbon with two chlorines on it and a carbon with two hydrogens on it, extra from what it started with. So overall, when you have the addition with an alkyne, you're going to have two of whatever it is you're adding, and you're going to do the addition twice to get your final compound. So those are some examples of additions with alkenes and alkynes uh, that you'll need to be able to give the products for when you're given uh, your reactants.